welcome to Lego Tekken class. Um, today we're gonna upgrade our game we created called Comet Dodge. So if you didn't see the last video where we made this game, um, make sure you watch that because it, this is not gonna make sense if you don't watch that because the game includes this game. We have to do this. So I'm. In this game, we just have to roam around and dodge the comets. And we have to get a score. So, well, today I got an idea of adding power ups. So, and we have an ability to shoot. So whenever you shoot an ass, you know, like a comet, it gets destroyed. But we can't shoot so fast that we like, it takes like five seconds to actually shoot. Uh, again, so we want to create a game that works like that. And every time we destroy a comet, we get like some kind of power-ups. They can make you go faster or slower. So first of all, we need to add in costume, and we need to shoot. So I'm going to go to um, sci-fi, this is where you find all the scary stuff and uh, science fiction. So let's see, you can pick any laser you want. Blue laser, green laser, or red laser. My favorite color is blue. In these three, so I'm going to pick blue. So, I have a blue laser. And why, oh why are you showing up? Now, okay, yeah. Now we have a laser. We're going to put a, um, uh, like a space button. So what we're going to say is, we're going to take when arrow press, we're going to put it to space. So whenever we press space, this happens. We're going to do a function called shoot. So, actually, we don't have to create a function, but I'm going to do a of uh, maybe when space press we launch it so we're going to create clone so create clone of oh no now then we're going to do wait and you can put as much time as you want I'm going to put 3 seconds, so when I press this, this creates a clone of itself and waits for 3 seconds. While it's waiting, when you press space again, this program is already running, so it can't restart. So what that means is that this program will not go till 3 seconds. But what's going to happen is this. We're literally printing spaceships, and they're doing nothing. So we don't want that. So we, so we really, really want to do something to shoot. We're creating a clone, but we need a clone set up to actually make the clone clone do something. So first of all, we need to switch the costume. So I'm going to switch the costume to the blue laser, well, or the red laser or green laser, whatever you pick. Um, now what I want to do is I want to move it. I'm going to press, I'm going to put a move on uh, a certain amount of pixies before. I'm going to put 
50. Then it's gonna. Uh, oh god, I did something. Horrible. There, I'm back. 50 Pepsi's. Because we're gonna make it disappear right after it touches a comet. But if it t touches anything, but if it touches the spaceship, um, it will stop too. But we don't want that. So, we're gonna say that's why we put move 50 pixels. But we also need to move it, right? So, to move it, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put a um, repeat block. Repeat a certain amount of times. Repeat 1,000, actually 500 times, actually 100 times. You can pick a number, number, but you have to pick a number of move too. But I'm gonna pick three. Don't pick too high because it's gonna go too fast. And we don't want the same speed. So I'm just gonna copy this part and add some speed to it. Just adding another zero. Zero. And now I'm gonna show you how this works. There, I launched the board. But after it goes some time, it will stop eventually. They, if you don't want that, we have to, have to, have to increase this. Maybe, I'm going to increase it to um, maybe 1,000. It's going to go 3,000 pixels until it disappears. And I'm gonna shoot at the asteroid, and it's not really happening, anything. And we don't want that. If nothing's happening, if nothing's happening, there's no point of the game. So we want something to happen right when it hits something. And we want it to go faster, because it's going to flow. We can increase this to 5, and we can decrease this to 500 actually, and then I can add a new 0, and change this 1 to a 5, so we don't go too fast actually. Now we need to add power-ups, but before we do that, we need to create a flaming comet. So we have our spaceship, it's shooting. It's perfect. Why did it just duplicate it? I don't know. I'll do like that. But we have to do this. It's, we want it to break and then turn in, and then it will give us a power up. But the power up should last only for some time. It will last forever. Uh, it's going to be difficult. Because the player will just go for it and get it for all the time. So we're also going to add a variable called speed for the power ups. But let's get back to here and let us put more code. In this code, we want it to destroy. So we're going to put when. when Occur, and we're gonna go to sensing and take out and say clona. Good guy spaceship B1. So when we I have this, it is gonna touch with the clone. Nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna ignite this. We have to add code to ignite those. This is like a match starter. Whenever a something happens, this will this will occur, and the match will start, and another match, and then like really close together, a lot of matches, they will all connect, 
that's how this works. But let's see. Yeah, I'm touching Chloe, good guy, space B1. But now we want this to destroy. So before we do that, we want to delete this comp. Delete it. But then we're also going to have variables called X and Y. Here, here. We're going to type X create and Y for X and create. Now we have X and Y. Now we want to, we want to inform that, you know, like the power up that I'm here. Hello, I'm here. Hello, hello, I'm here. We want to inform that. Uh, so because if if it's, if there was no one, it would spawn in the same area. And then we wanted them to like push on each other. So we're gonna start with a little physics, but we're gonna start with X and Y. We're gonna set, set, X and Y to X, position, and Y, position. So this will inform they, these two blocks will tell where it is. That block will tell if it's left, how much left or right it is, and the Y will tell how much up or down it is. Now, let's add our power up. So, we need to add two power ups a blue ball. Oh, you know what? Uh, you can delete this code. Right now. You can add another actor in the media library and pick and you to pick an orange ball. These are actually huge. This. How much is this? How much is this blue ball? 25? How much is this? 100? There. Yeah. They're both tiny. Now let's throw these both somewhere I don't know. There. Actually I'm gonna put Y500 actually. Cause we want it to be closer actually. If it's too far I'm gonna never find it. So both of them have the same properties, but this has four, I'm going to put two. These two have the same properties, and that's what we want. Now the main part begins, let's go back to our stage. Uh, no, not more. more. No pencil. I'm going to remove sound. I don't like sound. I'm going to physics. And I'm going to start the physics. And then I'm going to do it on start. And set the gravity to zero. And what we're going to do is if we don't want these to go away. And we don't want it to do. So we're going to set both of them. Static and active. So active means that it's literally in the game. Static means so active means like it's, if it collides, this will happen. If it's not active, it'll just fly around going behind something without actually bouncing off. Like there was something they are in. So I'm gonna put it on clone setup. Actually. I'm going to put it there. 
Now I'm going to take static. Static means it will stay in the same spot. Yes, we want it to do that. So we're going to put it true. Because we don't want it for physics to work like that. I'm going to copy this, then paste it here. And paste it there for the normal one. And this we also do on start. And score we do one to two. And then blue ball and this ball, we're going to keep it a little different. No, I didn't do that. So we're going to put it on start. Function. We're going to have both of them like that. But when we have clone set up, this clone, I want this clone to explode. So we're going to put a if And we're going to go to physics and collide it with, I don't want to collide with mass pointer, but orange ball or blue ball itself. Uh, let's see where... Oh, there's a cell. There we go. We're going to put this, and then we're going to give it input. That's all we need to do. Where, uh, where are you? Input. So, input is the force it applies when pushing. I'm going to put it to 50. You can put it higher, but it's going to bounce up farther. No higher you put it. Now only your blue balls will work. But this is clone setup. It means that if you, you're not even creating a clone. Uh, let us see. Now, what you want to do is copy that. And we also want to go to an area that we created. And we're going to go restore this area from the flaming comet. One. And where are my variables? X and Y. Now I'm going to copy this and put it right there. And so I want to put it in the blue ball too. And there. And I hate when this happens and duplicates it. Um, now we also want to set active and static. Static to false and active to true. To the opposite. Back to two and static to false. No, static. And this is clone setup. There. Now what's gonna happen is nothing. Because this is not creating a clone. Now what I want to do is, I want to create a clone. To do that, of these two, we're going to, after we put those positions, we're going to pick a random. So, P-I-C-K. And we're going to do this three times. Pick random. We're going to pick 1 to 5, actually. I'm going to put 1 to 5, not 1 to 10. And we're going to create a repeat block. 
is going to repeat this program one to five times. Anything. One, two, three, four, or five. It's going to repeat it those many times. Um, now what I'm going to do is it has a repeat block. But you want to create a clone. So we're going to put it in if else block. If else. If. And we're going to put a greater than symbol. Where is the greater symbol? So we're going to put. Five. And, or yeah. We're going to put five right there. Five of less than. Pick random. Uh, there we go. Now, if, now you can set it to blue or red. Create clone of blue ball. And we're going to put create clone of red ball. Orange ball. We can even set it so um, it's a lower number of four. Means that we'll get more good than bad. You can also set it to orange more, but I'm gonna set it to five, half, so we both, so we get the same amount. So we can't get too fast or too slow. Because if you collect a blue ball, we wanna go faster, and orange ball, we wanna go slower. And the maximum we can go is 20. So now we have these. This happened so quickly. I'm not even sure if I can hit one of these asteroids. There I go. Oh no! The boy. Oh! Look at that! But nothing's happening when I fly colored. Why, oh, why is this boy doing that? Oh, yeah. By the way, we don't to put the weak clone, I forgot to. Or else it'll go forever. And remember, we put the static thingy. We have to put the same thing for the orange ball thingy. Actually, this one. This is slightly confusing. Sometimes, when you do this. Uh, uh, put it on the wrong one. Uh, I put it on the wrong one. There. Let's put it here. Clone setup. Now, let's see what happens. I'm going to launch an S. And it turns into two balls. But they're literally not even going anywhere. They had an impulse. Impulse. But they're not having enough, I guess. I'll give you a higher dose of impulse. Uh, maybe 150. And you also 150. I have a game and I put an input of like a million and it broke the computer I don't want to do again. And I want to go on the action and try. There we go. Hey, what's going on with the boy? Oh! So we are hitting any. Yeah, that's weird, but. You see, these are just, we want them to fly around. Uh, so what we want to do, is we also want it to point this random direction. Point a random direction. And we're going to repeat a certain number of times. 
Or we can apply higher inputs. I don't get why it's not working. Oh no. So apparently if it touch me, it'll also turn into balls. But... I'll manage to turn into balls. These, some of these asteroids are so tiny you can't even see them. But... And see, you can get a maximum of 5 and a minimum of... I mean 1. Whenever it collides, but we really want to do is make them move around. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do my old-fashioned way. We're gonna try to. Do, I'm gonna repeat. It's um I'm gonna repeat it a certain amount of time. Um, I'm gonna remove this program, which was not working. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna point direction. Pick random. I'm gonna pick a random. Zero to three sixty five degrees. Uh, now let's type. We have a repeat block ten times. We're gonna put a new block. We're also gonna put a um, late block. Point zero one, and we're gonna put ten to three. And we're also gonna put 30 times, maybe 30 times. So now we want this to slow down. So, we don't need it to slow down actually. Uh, repeat until, and we're gonna put a repeat until block, actually. So it will repeat until it touches my spaceship. Touch me, spaceship. Touch me. Okay. Now the spaceship is gonna touch. Then I wanna delete this clone. Okay. You have everything set on this side. I'm going to copy it and put it in the blue side. It really has nothing. There. Perfect. Ah. Uh, I'm going to try. Okay, I'm really bad at shooting. Ah. Oh, there you go. If touching any, it's going to get destroyed. What the heck are these bullets so long? Oh no! The clone bullets are duplicating. Uh, we don't want that duplication, so what I'm gonna do is... I said, add two to two. Oh, false. We're gonna put balls. There we go. That would work. And I hope they don't do plate. And I'm sure they will. Because they're not actually telling me. Tell me that. So we're gonna put a block. Okay. I have it if block. And we're gonna pick a knot. We're gonna pick a knot block and 
We're gonna put this clone block. This block will allow us not for them to duplicate eventually. Eh, apparently there are a lot of asteroids and in comics. But they do nothing. And I try collecting them. And the asteroids are just literally destroying them. Eh, okay. And, uh, you know, the clones are not deleting. They're just going forever. If... Touching... What do you... I wanted to touch... Uh, Flaming Comet 1. I wanted to touch clone. Flaming Comet 1. And I wanted to delete this clone. These. And I can delete this clone almost. Okay. I'm going to I'm not too bad at this game. I can't even shoot properly. I'm so disappointed. There. And you literally just. Okay, they get deleted, but I do not want them to get destroyed. Then why do I put delete quick coin? Delete this coin. Oh my goodness. I'm disappointed. They are not really should work properly. And I'm shooting the asteroid. And I'm going to slow down this actually because it's too fast. If it's too fast, it will lag. And you'll put it, um, actually 2.5. I'll put it 2. Now, let's get the ball. We have the ball correct. But we don't have this correct. So what I want to do, um, what I really do want to do is put a on star if touching block. You can also put a curve, which is here. Then I'm going to put a touching block. If touching blue ball, and then copy this. Ah. And paste it, and then put an orange ball right there. Now, what I want to do is I want to get faster. So I have a variable called speed, speed and this. Next speaking. So this is clone setup. My speed is three. Um, that's very slow. You might actually be minus it by point three. And now I'm thinking about it. We want to set the speed on the start. We want to set the speed. I guess three. I'm gonna move three instead of three. Speed instead of three. Um, now what I want to do is I'm gonna touch a blue ball. I'm gonna change that by 0.5. And I'm gonna put an if block. Because I don't want it to go faster than I want to have 
one million tax piece and it goes to your mouse you know all the time or even like goes there really far away then comes back that way uh, the speed of this thingy should be at least maximum of 8 I would say maximum of 8 um Let's see. We're gonna put a greater than symbol. Now I'm gonna put. Now I'm gonna put my speed variable. It speed. I want it for you there. The maximum speed for the blue ball. We're gonna put it for the blue ball, the blue ball. The maximum speed we should get is, as I told you, eight. And the minimum speed we should get is, of course, two. We can get slower too. Now, you should say, you're going to change it. You need to catch a lot of power-ups to change things. Because we don't want it to go too far. And we'll go to the catch the speed variable. Get another speed variable. And I'm going to try, I'm going to actually put, how much should I put? Yeah, point 0.1 is the best. Negative point 0.1. Now let's play this game. And why am I not moving? Oh no! I did something. Why did I not move? I'm set. Okay, let's see. Oh, I set the score to three. That's stupid. I need to set the speed. There we go. I was wondering what I did. Hey! Asteroids that are big come. Big ones are hard to dodge. Hey, I collected one. Why do you collect the bad one? <gasps> Why am I collecting the bad ones? Oops. I managed to collect the bad ones. There we go, the good one. Come on, baby. I love you. You're the best. Why did I shoot that thingy? I can shoot that. I got the bad ones. Okay. We don't want them to stay forever. Either. Yeah, I got a bad one accidentally. This is much easier because you have to collect 10 to actually go the same speed. Now you can feel the speed comparing to your. Okay. And thank you for watching Lego Tech and Craft. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank and like this video too. Thank you.